up guys? Welcome to today's video. It's Luke Freeman with Twitch Trimmers Lawn Care and today we're doing our 2020 lawn care equipment setup. First off is the newest setup that we added this year. It's a 2004 F-150 XLT model crew cab, five and a half foot bed with an 18 foot JT manufacturing trailer. Um, it is just a regular trailer here. It's got gorilla lifts. It's got the spare tire here. It's got a toolbox up on the front and it's got a blower rack and a two-tier trimmer rack and just regular jack everything like that and then it's got these two foot wood sides on it uh, the mower we're running on this trailer is a 2019 john deere z960n and it has 110.5 hours on it so we actually just added this setup um we're gonna be starting a second location about 45 minutes from here so this is gonna kind of be like the go-getter setup i guess you could call it um, in the back of the truck, we actually don't have a trimmer yet. Um, we're going to be adding a couple trimmers here this week. We just have a regular Husqvarna 360 BT. Picked it up off Facebook Marketplace from the guy that was selling it. And so, yeah, here's setup number one, the 2004 F-150 with the 18-foot open trailer. All right, guys, so here is our weekly lawn maintenance setup. It's our it's setup number two. This setup currently runs most uh, five days a week. It's our 2000 Isuzu NPR. It's got the uh, turbo intercooled diesel in it. It's got 148,000 miles. It's a, about to roll over to 149. Uh, it's got the diesel engine, like I said. It's got a 14 foot flat bed, four foot dovetail. Right here on the front, we've got a 2017 John Deere WHP48A. It's got 70 hours on it. Right here, we have three BCZ 260TS trimmers, all max torque models. These have been great for us. We bought them last year. Uh, they look like they were bought three years ago because we use them so much, but. Uh, we use this setup five days a week, like I said. Here, here is the 2020 Toro Z Master 3000 series. It has about 12 hours on it now. Um, it, we bought this a couple weeks ago. We love this mower, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, and then we bought that bought that mower last year, so uh, all of our mowers are pretty new. Come around to this side. Well, here's the gate. It's got LED lights all the way, all the way around. And then uh, here's another shot of the bed. The blowers we are running right now are two CZ 8500s. We bought these the same time we bought the trimmers. Uh, we have two of those, and our dealer is actually running a deal right now, so we may end up picking up a few pieces of equipment to run on that setup in uh, the town near us. Uh, we have three gas cans right here. Uh, these two and this one are regular gas, and then we've got this one, which is uh, our no spill is mixed gas. Uh, this is our main setup that we use for cutting grass right now, uh, five days a week, like I said. Uh, the inside of the Zuzu, I'll show you it real quick. It's messy, but uh, just simple. Three seats, got a green touch hat in there, and uh, yeah, here you go, guys. Uh, it's cloth seats, nothing crazy. It's not torn up, but a few holes in the seat, but it's also not like disgusting. I mean, it needs a bath, but as you guys can tell, this is the truck. Got logos put on it, licensed and insured. This is our third truck. Um, truck number two, we actually don't have anymore, so uh, we're gonna be getting this truck lettered. But uh, yeah, guys, this is setup number two, and we're gonna show you the other two setups that we have. All right guys, so this is setup number three. It's a 1996 Isuzu NPR with the intercooled diesel. Um, it's a great motor and great truck. We actually just picked it up this year. It's got the 14 foot flatbed on the back of it with the wood size. We're probably gonna end up redoing this wood size. It's also got wood on the bottom, which you quite can't see, but uh, actually it's a 12 foot bed. But we, like you said, um, you can see on here, we have some, just like some debris from the job last week. And we got all these stones uh, from those are going to be for a paver job we did. Um, we just got to take them back. That customer ordered a little too many. And then we got some nose fill gas cans here. This is just to keep everything filled up. We got a couple nose fills. We got a couple sure cans, but we don't really prefer one way over the other. The sure cans have had a little bit of problems, but uh, we just went and picked up a couple nose fills here and there. So and then this is the big trailer. It's like a rolling billboard. It's a 20 foot enclosed trailer. Uh, we've actually had it for about a little over a year now. Uh, it's a great trailer as you can see we've done vinyl all the way across it and it's a husky cargo trailer as you can see there we've got the spare tire carrier on the front we got our services here on this front quarter panel and then our logo and phone number the biggest thing you want to see when you wrap a trailer we got that on the both sides and on the rear here it's really been a great trailer we're going to fold this down and we did use this for mowing for a while but now it's really just um used for landscaping um got a little bit of racks and stuff on the inside just from like lows and stuff um, but as you can see it's quite full of stuff 
guys, this is like the go-to landscape trailer. I know people don't really use enclosed for landscape, but we do. Um, right here we got just three trim racks. Um, they're literally simple from Home Depot. And then we got just some rakes, tarps, a couple ladders, wheelbarrows, um, things like that. Yeah, guys, um, let me, we, uh, it was about to rain this weekend, so us and the guys threw a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, that's why it's so messy. There's crap everywhere. We're about to clean it up today so we can get ready for next week. Uh, one new thing we actually purchased this year, as you can see, is the HC2810. Picked this up from Nashville Lawn Equipment. Very great trimmer. I highly recommend it. Um, if you're going to buy a brand new hedge trimmer, I recommend just going top of the line. It's really not going to break down at all. And as long as you have a good Echo dealership, these things are super light and uh, have a huge bar here. So it's perfect for trimming bushes. We also have an Echo PAS2620 with the hedge trimmer attachment and the pole saw attachment um, that we use for landscaping and stuff like that. And this trailer here, we just kind of pile it up with um, whether it be pine shawl for a job or we use these tarps, bring in all the brush from like landscape jobs and drag it all out of here. Um, really just about anything you can use on a landscape job, we can fit it in here. I know we can't really necessarily get materials, but we have two other trailers for that. So that's, a, that's this trailer here, as you can see. We'll go back up to the truck. Um, they do have the side door option on it. Got it locked up, but yeah, as you can see here, this thing's a great truck. We picked it up this year. Great for working out of. We painted the wheels black. Uh, they used to be white and a little rusty. We ended up painting those black. I'll show you the interior of this thing. Just like the other one. Three seats, prep for working. Actually, this one doesn't need on a radio. But um, it's all you need to work out of for the guys to just kind of go around town and get some landscape jobs knocked out. So yeah, this is setup number three. And we'll show you setup number four here in a minute. All right, guys, here's setup number four. It is our 2011 F-250. It's got the 6.2 liter gas engine in it with 171,000 miles on it. Put a brush guard on it, put some new platinum wheels on it, uh, loaded it up, got it looking pretty good. This is the truck that uh, we've had logo up the longest. It's been a really great truck for us. We've had it a little over a year now, and we've used it for a lot of things. We used to haul the enclosed with it. And uh, yeah, guys, this is this is the other landscaping setup, I guess you could say. We we usually, uh, if we rent a piece of equipment like a Vermeer, Skid Steer, John Deere, or anything like that, we'll haul it on this trailer. Uh, here's the truck. It's got an eight foot bed, silver toolbox. The toolbox, I mean, the bed's got a bunch of random stuff in it. It's got a gas can. Here's the Echo pole saw. We got the um, MS251 right here. We used this just the other, on Friday, to take down a small tree, as you guys saw on Instagram. Uh, here's the trailer. It is a 2017. Uh, Liberty trailer, Liber Liberty Industries trailer. It's got uh, it's, 20, it's 18 foot long. It's got a two foot dovetail on the back. It's got a toolbox in the front. Uh, that jack is really heavy to be. I love that thing. Uh, we put these sides on it. We got two foot sides that go about halfway back, so we can put these sides on here. Great investment, about uh, $200 I think, uh, just for these sides. Maybe I think it's not $160 for these sides, but uh, yeah, it, it allows other people to see us in the community, just like all these other trailers do. This trailer is 18 foot long, like I said, two foot dovetail. It's got steel ramps with the little foot plates on them. It's got 5,200 pound axles, good tires, and uh, yeah, this is the trailer. Nothing special, nothing crazy. Uh, as we go on this side, painted one of the wheels white because I ended up making one of them on a curb, but you can't even tell. But uh, we got the Gen Y hitch, it's a really nice hitch that we have in the truck. But here's 2011, like I said. Here's the infamous dent, Southern Stripes, that is in the truck. And uh, yeah, guys, here's all four of the trucks. All right, guys, so setup number one was the 2004 F-150 with the 18-foot trailer. We've had that one since we were 16. This truck's been awesome for us, and we're glad to use it in our company. Setup number two is the 2000 Isuzu. Uh, setup number three is the 96 Isuzu with the 20-foot enclosed trailer. And setup number four is 2011 F-250 with the 20-foot equipment trailer. Thanks so much for watching our 2020 lawn care and equipment setup, and we will see you guys on YouTube in the next couple weeks.